Aero Time News Hub, the best news site on this planet. And they wrote an interesting article about Reiner. Reiner to order and help build the second astronaut and 225 Maria. Got the Reiner livery. But hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. And today we have, <laughs> we're going to talk about interesting April Fool's joke in the aviation industry. You know, everyone wants to jump onto the April Fool's hype train like Aero Time Hub on the 1st of April. You know, it's always funny to, to talk about Reiner ordering the Antonov Antonov 125. But I mean, I'm excited to check out especially some American airlines because they are also very interesting. Talking actually about Reiner, let's see what Reiner did for an April Fool's joke. Okay, you know what? Let's actually just go ahead and start up with Twitter here. Reiner's Twitter account. What did they post? They did not post anything. Wait, they did not use the opportunity to, to rub. Uh, no, they haven't posted anything this month. Damn, okay. Okay, Reiner on Instagram maybe? Yep, this is what they posted on the 1st of April. Damn, Reiner is kind of, you know, disappointing. We only have got that Aero Time Hub news article. That's a little weird. Okay, maybe on TikTok. I mean, we've always been impressed by the Reiner TikTok account, right? It's, uh, it's always good. What do we got now? In the sky. <laughs> OMG, was that Lil Nas X? What is that? What is that poll? I'm very much confused. I'm really, this is the thing, I'm not active on TikTok. This is another TikTok trend. Maybe the, the rapper Lil Nas X is doing a, a challenge or something where he d drops off somewhere. This is not an April Fool's joke. Come on, Ryanair, what is this? All right, Etihad Airlines actually made a joke. All right, let's 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 crack our fingers. Let's see how this is gonna go. Introducing Etihad Chroma View. All window seats will now have pre-installed filters that can be controlled with an interactive button. These dynamic window filters. <laughs> I mean, that's actually a cool idea to, to add filters. like instead Instagram, you know, window. No, not not too good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's really Instagram filters, but for a window. That's kind of sad that it only got like 200 likes. Come on, we need more. I mean, at least they're the only airline that's kind of doing April Fool's joke. I mean, what, what the hell is wrong with you guys? American Air, we're introducing more quarantine free travel and pre-COVID-19 testing options. Lol, what a joke. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's maybe check Emirates. What did they post? April 1st on Autism Awareness Day. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's pretty dark right there. <laughs> not, not, not too bad. I mean, come on. Qatar Airways, April 1st. You can rely on us to take you on your next journey safely. Lol, what a joke. <laughs> So dumb, honestly. But so many airlines did not post anything at all. Like, genuinely, it's weird. Karina, there's something relaxing about listening to the peaceful sound of waves. Lol, what an, uh, what an April Fool's joke. Asiana Airlines. Imagine being an airline and not being verified on Twitter. Like, why? Oh, here we've got a doggo. Sweet doggo. But no April Fool's joke here on the 1st of April. I don't really get it. Come on. That's the perfect opportunity to just fool around and make it a marketing stunt. Jesus. Come on, Spirit Airlines. You know, Spirit Airlines is always known for making cringy jokes and it's so funny, come on. Okay, come on, 1st of April here, Spirit Airlines. Due to Fort Lauderdale's security closure, a travel advisory has been issued. LOL! <laughs> <laughs> Funny! Due to high number of requests from guests, response times are longer than normal through reservation hotline. LOL! <laughs> okay, Allegiant Air, come on. Oh, they didn't post anything on the 1st of April. So dumb. How could you miss out on such an opportunity to post random stuff, right? I mean, you know, airlines used to be so funny with the April Fool's joke. I mean, Alaska Airlines 2016, April 1st. <laughs> Upon arrival to this amazing place, our 737 will shrink accordingly. <laughs> that, that's, that's kind of, I mean, come on, that's a creative, right? Okay, here we've got a Qantas Airlines as well not too bad flight center 2015 see this is a lot funnier now would you like to fly to london for 199 <laughs> cargo class right car cargo class get yeah i'm sorry delta airlines 2015 as well an effort to offer healthy snack options on board we now offer biscoff cookies made with locally sourced kale damn that's probably vegan i don't know Skating Haven Airlines, also 2015, April 1st, you know, the, a lot funnier, right? Today we present a new revolutionary way of traveling, SAS Space Travel, which I'm, you know, with, you know, Virgin Galactic kind of is becoming a thing now. <laughs> I mean, that, that's not bad. Did they post anything this year, though? I mean, I haven't checked yet. Oh, they haven't posted anything since February 17th, so they're kind of dead. Okay, I guess Southwest Airlines also used to be a lot memeier. 2018, April 1st. All right, actually, with an actual video clip, let's check it out, maybe. Alexa, Southwest bump, Alexa. Bump, bump, you make my heart beat. Race, race, race. Every time I see your face. What, what is this? I'm booking you a trip to Nashville to hear some real music. 
Oh, okay, so there's like a Southwest Alexa. Okay, here we've got Emirates Airlines March 31st. <laughs> 2018 as well, Emirates reveals Sky Lounge, the most exclusive onboard lounge to be introduced on its Boeing 777X fleet from 2020. Damn, it, this didn't happen, huh? A completely transparent lounge with unmatched aerial views. I can, I can imagine that. Yeah, great, great post right here. 2018 as well. Actually, quite a funny year, 2018, huh? Virgin Australia, a spin class. Is that a cycling studio? Is that a gym inside of a plane? That's kind of sick, actually, though. I don't really get this one, but it's a, it's a gym class. <laughs> Hong Konger. <laughs> that is so dumb. But actually, that's actually quite funny here now. Hong Kong Airlines, roasted duck and barbecue. Yeah, that's not, not, that's not too bad. Come on. <laughs> Did they post anything this year, though? Hmm. No. Jetstar Airways. We've, we've got Kura. Okay. <laughs> that's not that's not too bad. I mean, that's... Oh, man. I'm not too to be a lot funnier, huh? I mean, the situation right now is a little tough. I can imagine, you know, we're in the yeah. app. Thomas Cook Airlines introducing a brand new addition to our fleet. 2018 as well. I mean, I can imagine why they're not kind of posting this year now. I mean, they have become a little bit inactive on their Twitter social media. Fly Swoop posted this in 2019. So basic... What is this video? It's live flat experience. Oh, <laughs> what is that advertisement? So I, I, I'm not really that smart to get all these jokes. I'm sorry. What is this? Foolery. I don't really get this one. WestJet introduces child-free cabins. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting too. And then we've got Emirates again, posting on 31st of 2019. Jafferless drones. I mean, that's actually quite a sick idea. Maybe actually an insight of the future. This is actually not too far off. Virgin voyages arrive by air. Did they post that? Or oh, those are so they had a runway on a on a ship. I don't really get these jokes. Is that genuinely Lufthansa on Instagram? Flexible planning tra travel safely. Ball, what a joke. Eh. Don't know what these posts are, honestly. Other than that, Instagram is also kind of dry here. Just posting about pictures of flying Condor Airlines. Some airlines really don't know how to do, you know, social media properly, especially TikTok. You know, come on, you know, Ryanair. Okay, we've got passenger shaming. Posting an article. U.S. air carriers set to implement national law prohibiting bare feet on all commercial airlines flight. That is important to do. Genuinely, yeah, that, that's that's a good idea. But it's also an April Fool's joke. <laughs> okay, um, apparently Airbus is uh, working on a new plane. Looks uh, looks good already, huh? I don't know. Very dry Twitter as well. Come on. Boeing, did they post anything? They posted the 737 MAX, which is also a good April Fool's joke, right? <laughs> No. UPS Airlines. In 2017, UPS made history when we flew a Boeing 757 with an all-female crew. <laughs> Lol, what a joke. Oh, man. Indigo, we're experiencing high call volume and long call wait times at our contact center. How are they posting that on in on Twitter? I mean, isn't Twitter made for advertising? So why would you advertise something that's bad about your airline? I don't really get this. Today's April Fool's thing, so many lost opportunities. I don't really get it. No one was really posting anything. Nothing was really funny. This is not too good. I mean, I didn't make an April Fool's joke either. Yeah, maybe I should have done that too. Never mind. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, no, Larry Dislama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Signs, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.